funny that you mentioned Nerd Wallet. When I was there, people would ask, "What is a Nerd Wallet?" Industry in Silicon Valley, and uh, and starting in. I think there's a few different things. So I spent a lot of time looking at fintech very broadly. So that that's the number one thing. I mean, you know, exactly. When we so much started. change going on in the fintech and payments world right now. It's like I'm amazed at the number of companies and like there's a new payment app on my phone. So if you have invested in peer-to-peer -peer platforms like Lenny Clever Prosper or a cloud fund, that it was some incredible insight that I had. Uh, maybe it was, but in 2000, Energy market and global development with innovation. A woman asked me that exact question. She was had just become a VC. Uh, I'd say the market opportunity. There's a lot of money on the line. For uh, 10 years, I worked in every uh, area. Uh, six also, startups, that's correct. And a lot of them have been around information security for FinTech. Um, I started MarketX about a year and a half ago. Um, Stanford Business School. And we uh, we were surrounded by FinTech. Yes. So I've been in different aspects of FinTech. My latest it's venture. Really a lot of times when we first got in, we focus exclusively on the P&C industry, so we don't do anything in health or life. All, I mean, every consumer you talk to is involved with insurance. Quite a bit uh, in the insure tech space in the last year, year and a half. It's really and been a second. Fluid started because of our own experiences as co-founders running a previous... In cryptocurrencies was what got me interested in My career uh, once I at FICO, the company that does FICO scores, but that's what they're well known for. Led me to the blockchain was there is only one word. It's by accident. Um, we were actually doing due diligence for a company we're right. Introduced. And sometimes you just know when something's meant for you. I just this love is good doing to, it. Right. Uh, hopefully talk to some really interesting people today and learn something. There. Uh, over here, we're still tied to our older networks, so uh, for having me. Uh, yeah, really, I've always been in infrastructure. 25 years, pretty much my whole career. Startups is, is what it's, it's been about. Passion yeah, for so investigating and finding out what's going on and uh, led us to the focus of the startup. My parents and I moved to this country in 1986. Um, so, for having me today. Uh, it's been an excellent opportunity to take. Our fund is focused exclusively on digital currencies and blockchain, which I think is the cutting edge. I'm looking forward to the panel discussion. Uh, what led me to, to be here? We're literally at the epicenter of the collision. When I came to America about six, seven years ago, uh, um, the first thing that got me... Play FinTech was actually born out of a Bitcoin meetup. Uh, it's very similar to what you're Focus working. on um, designing solution to secure Bitcoin Asia privacy. Six years, uh, five of which were in China, and a number of my friends... Quite broad technology, right? It's, it's horizontal kind of thing, cloud computing. <laughs> Somehow. I, I've always been fascinated with the whole digitization of... I working in the financial sphere before, so that is how I got started to read about it. So, during my career, uh, both I when I was began working, my career as an investment banker on Wall Street, I was with Donald Slavkin and General. I mean, I'm already doing it to some degree in the uh, uh, big financial institutions for like about uh, six years, and after that, is, I there's did. a new digital business group there, a new venture creation arm. Yes, that's and, um, essentially, if you can think about how. Um, Facebook. Um, before joining Invest Hong Kong as the head of fintech, uh, I was part of the team. Um, the funny story behind that, um, you know, I was actually born here. My parents gave me a chance. Caveat these kinds of questions with and pick a geography because uh, Village Capital and Ten based in London, uh, but we have uh, investors like Andrewson Horowitz. Uh, quick and personal finance software. And so it was kind of a passion of mine. We're focusing on innovation in fintech because it's super important to Way us. For being a to be able to leverage Silicon Valley expertise. So first of all, as an early stage investor, I'm passionate about teams, just great teams that I think Two can build things. companies. Um, so one is uh, one is a personal interest, which is um, in 2014, kind of like a dark mode, and we've kind of moved towards on. open banking that's happening mostly in Europe because um, of robo-advice and what was happening to investment advisors and science fiction. Asset. So deep frontier tech. I have a commercial space right, background. Some big macro trends that are going on. Um, you know, you've got this. It's also loud and bright and clear. Uh, we focus on the unsexy. And with the issue of aging parents, aging grandparents. Essentially, it's deep sentiment analysis in the market. And uh, Matt, one of the founders. So, 
Oh, mission is done. How many people know what a smartphone is? Uh, my name is Alex Dasanov, I'm the CEO and founder of the uh, company. Uh, so the problem that we are tackling is the counterfeit uh, vaccines and medicines. And CEO of IOTA Security. Um, IOTA Security is here to prevent cyber crime. Um, I am the co-founder of Candide. My other co-founder is Liz Gonzalez sitting right there. Uh, most people have participated in some form of class action.